Hi everyone, I'm back again, this time with another console game, much better, and my skills are improving, so I decided to make another game, we'll be making Tetris, and before we get into the game, this video is going to be about, it's going to be an introduction, showing you a vital component of making the game. It's a concept that I think you should understand thoroughly and understanding the game when we get to it would be much more easier for you. Alright, we'll be concentrating in this video on rotating how you rotate a Tetris piece. All, is, all tetra, Tetris pieces are contained in a Tetramino block. This is that block. So this is an array, conti contiguous memory when you do an array. This is the array and the piece would be one long string in the array. Yeah, these are called tetromino blocks. Okay. And This is your original piece here from which we will be rotating doing all rotations will come from the original piece these green blocks just show the rotation the result of the rotation and below them we have the formula for the rotation 0 degree rotation 90 degree rotation 180 degree rotation, 270 degree rotation. So, you can actually work it out yourself and you will see that all the index align when you use the formula. For example, in this 90 degree rotation, we'll do a row zero, column zero, and see where that rotated to what is what comes into there so we have 12 plus row 0 minus column 0 times 4 and that gives you back 12 and you can see and you can see here that it is 12 that's the index so whatever is contained in the index will now be in this position in a 90 degree rotation all right you can work it out yourself you can fill out all of them to better understand what's going on and all of them will work out exactly as you see here from the original piece Alright, let's get into the code. First, we're going to put in a, well, let me show you what it'll look like. We'll get a game that looks like this. See the pieces falling? That's, that's what the game is going to look like and we can rotate the piece and we can quickly move them down if you choose to it's actually a bad combination here I want to show you something let's move this here Okay, beautiful. So when this piece falls into place, look at what happens to the line. What once the line is complete, boom. See? The line disappears and the above pieces drop down. The incompleted pieces. Right? And that's what we're going to be making. And once 
if it fills up I'll just quickly show you once it fills up the game will end the code to rotate it's important you understand this so I suggest you go play with it yourself so this is the rotation function you can see all the same formulas it's just simple arithmetic you can see all the same formulas in there that's just to do a rotation case this would be a zero rotation zero degree rotation 90 degree rotation 180 degree rotation 270 degree rotation right. let me show you what the tetromino how we would initialize the tetromino pieces Just like that. That's a tetramino piece. It's just one piece. And the way we have done it is just to visually see how the piece will look. And that is exactly how the piece will look when you print it to the screen. Alright? In this case, we're using a one uh, one index array just to, for this example. But when we get into the game, it will be six indexes and six strings. This is just one long string. This is one string here. All right. Okay. But when we display it, we'll be displaying it two dimensionally, and that is done using this block of code here this is what we're going to be using to display the piece two dimensionally and this is a ternary operation here I hope you know basically if it goes through the tetromino block and it sees an X it's going to print an X if it doesn't see an X it sees something else it's going to print space that's what that is. This is, a this is a ternary operation. And let's just. Alright, that's a rotation 90 degree check it out you can see that's the original piece and that's the 90 degree rotation all right let's do a 180 degree rotation and you can see that is a 180 degree rotation from the original piece and let's do a 270 degree rotation And as you can see, that is a 270 degree rotation from the original piece. And let's go back to zero degree rotation. And as you can see, that is a zero degree rotation from the original piece. And that is basically what we are going to be doing to rotate the piece. Alright, so thanks for watching and stay tuned. We will be getting into the actual game itself, developing the game. But I thought that you should play with this a little bit. You can make up your own pieces and do the rotation. Alright, this formula here is very important to know. Because this is how you translate a two-dimensional array into a one-dimensional array. We'll be using that formula to do that. Alright, thank you. Thanks for watching.